This headline should read, Father hates evil regime who we are simultaneously praising because we're pieces of shit. Everyone's talking about North Korea at the Olympics and the media reaction, which they right. should, but it, it's just the whataboutism. So question of the day, do you really think, because the left has, has, has drawn this equivalency, do you really think that the United States is comparable in any way to evil empires of the past or present? And, and, and what do you make of the blatant hypocrisy in the left fawning over this performance, which really wasn't that impressive, uh, in my opinion, from North Korea at the Olympics in comparison to their outrage of this current administration. So this is the performance in question from the North Koreans. What are these, cheerleaders? I don't know. Just a, a remarkable talents. Yeah. <laughs> Guy's not even close. <laughs> the coach is okay. Oh, oh she's going the wrong Picking way. It up. Uh, yeah, well, she won't be seen again. Nope. So the media is fawning over North Korea at the Olympics. You can even see, do we have some of these headlines? We can bring them up. Yeah, do we have them? The headlines? Yeah, there you go. I love this one from Santa. Kim Jong-un's sister is stealing the show at the Winter Olympics. <laughs> By the way, when she says she wants North Korea and South Korea to come, to come together to find... She's talking about under the family rule. She's basically saying we, we want to conquer Trump of North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the Ivanka Trump of North Korea. The Ivanka Trump. <laughs> Gosh. They don't even know which oh way gosh. they want to go with it. So they're fawning over this performance, talking about how, you know what, this can really bring us together, these kinds of events. And they, <laughs> and they was it really was. They stole the show with their synchronization. Well, you, <laughs> even if that's the case, you accept it as a good It's only for one reason. We do a great job, dear leader. Hell, the press love us. We do all for you. Please don't kill my baby. <laughs> <laughs> One, it's hell of a motivation. <laughs> it is motivation. And some, funny enough, because the left was immediately called on. Well, I was like, are you really? You're giving this? You're giving the okay to North Korea? Some like Abby Martin on Twitter, are claiming that the United States is actually worse than North Korea. So let's go through this. And this is what I think people are really rubbed the wrong way, because. Everything is so outrageous here from Donald Trump or for, cons for, for conservatives, right? The safe spaces, the hate speech, the pussy hat march. Can you believe it? Can you, can, Donald Trump is this tyrant. And then you're going to give some leeway to North Korea? <laughs> <laughs> of all places? Really? <laughs> there should be none. Zero. Well, are you saying? Yes, none. But, 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 they're, but they're not Kim Jong-un. I don't care. Anyone who, anyone who wears the patch that has anything to do with North Korea, no time for you. No, you're, you're, you are enemy number one so their claims let's just compare some of their claims as to what they think will happen under tyrannical rule here in the united states versus north korea so the claim of course donald trump wants to remove women's rights we've heard this this is why there's the big women's rights march that it's going to be like a handmaid's tale he's going to remove your right to choose and just just grab your 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 uterus and tear it out like sub-zero and moral combat that's what they want you to think <laughs> Because why? Simple things like reversing the reversal of Mexico City policy where American dollars shouldn't be funding abortions overseas. Maybe perhaps defunding uh, Planned Parenthood. They want you to believe this. It's going to be tyrannical rule that women are second class citizens. But the truth is women in North Korea are treated far more horribly than you could ever imagine Donald Trump to do. Women, they're deprived of education, job opportunities, they're of course subjected to violence at home, and uh, not to mention the forced abortions in labor camps. Donald Trump wants to stop funding abortions. They kind of go another direction. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who makes any kinds of claims like this has obviously not done any research at all. No homework well, whatsoever. No, the, they're not making this claim right now. They won't make this. They won't draw this comparison because they'll realize how stupid they sound. But if you just go through the timeline and you look at their claims on Donald Trump versus yeah. their treatment of North Korea, I think that's why so many people are bothered by it. Instead, you just get a bunch of folks on Twitter going, "Hey, you suck." No, no, no. Let's look at the timeline. Let's compare. Like Dinesh D'Souza said, "Is the law applied equally? Is the right. standard applied equally?" I would say nay. Like their claim that Donald Trump is a tyrant who, of course, wants to do away with freedom of the press. How often? have we heard this? You've heard it from nearly every man. He wants to do away with the fake freedom news. of the press, and fake maybe news, there even is news. some truth there because he talks about fake news, and sometimes yeah. he gets a little overzealous. But the truth is, there is no freedom of press in North Korea. <laughs> if you're going to be outraged about this in the United States, the press is government-run, and listening to unauthorized foreign broadcasts or possessing dissident publications are considered crimes against the state. There's potentially a death penalty involved. <laughs> now, in North Korea, when we say potentially, we mean absolutely. A claim. America from Abby Martin. America is this imp imperialist country. Yeah. This is something I always find funny. They talk about it's we can't spend so much money overseas. This nation building. It's it's uh, it's expensive. This evil empire. 
being an empire, it's not expensive. It's it's profitable. <laughs> yeah. An empire is just taking stuff. That's kind of Empire 101. 101. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who's play, played uh, Command and Conquer. It's why you don't yeah. conquer countries that don't have anything to take. Yeah. It's not worth the effort. <laughs> Nation building is costly. America is the first anti-empire. So comparing this whole idea of an, an imperialist United States, again, because you've had people protest and boycott simple events, whether it's a pastor speaking or Donald Trump speaking, and they march in the streets. So if you're going to apply it equal, you can't give praise to North Korea for anything, despite how nice of Christmas lights they put on their fake villages, Lester Holt. If you look at a map <laughs> of countries that the United States had a military presence in at one time or another, if we were an empire, yeah. we'd effectively rule half the world if we permanently invaded. Just take their stuff. <laughs> you talk about dropping news. We dropped pamphlets trying to warn Japanese citizens of the yeah. bombings. And by the way, and I know some people saying, well, maybe we didn't. Maybe we dropped them in the wrong towns. Guess what? I don't think we need to drop pamphlets at all. No. I think you dropped the A-bomb because these guys were total and complete assholes, hell-bent on killing anyone who didn't share the same amount of vowels in their last name. And by the way, it was used to save far more lives than it would have taken in a land yes. war at this point. And, Jap and Japan didn't pick up the, the bill for Kinko's either. No. <laughs> we, we dropped it on no, our own, exactly. own dime. Damn exactly. It. Now, North Korea, on the other hand, the Human Rights Watch reports that uh, Kim Jong-un's regime, not only have, they have the prison camps where starvation obviously is common, they endure sexual mm -hmm. assault, torture by guards, gar guards, guards often ending up in public execution. The UN officials estimate that between 80,000 and 120,000 people are imprisoned in political prison camps. Wow. Now, I don't mean like someone here saying like, black people right. are political prisoners. No, no. I mean, they're actually political dissidents being forced, uh, having forced abortions, being raped in prison by guards and then publicly executed. Yeah. Okay? Not only has Kim Jong-un assassinated tons of government officials and, of course, political dissidents. He's had many of his own family members killed. Oh, well, that's... He's there were 340 people executed for personal and political reasons, right? So here's something that's just so funny. When we talk about the United States being an evil empire, um, could you imagine if Kim Jong-un were president of the United States of America? Think about this, right? They just want nukes, right? And they're always threatening Japan and South Korea. So here's the greatest case against the United States being an evil empire. We have Canada, this country rich in natural resources. Yeah. There is nothing, and I'm Canadian, there is nothing they could do to stop us. So know. Kim Jong-un has no capabilities, and he's threatening South Korea and Japan and the United States every now and then, which is adorable. But <laughs> if he had the ability, you can bet he'd start some crap. Imagine if you were president of a country like the United States. So not Donald Trump, Kim Jong-un. Canada would be gone by tomorrow noon, and he would take their stuff. Trudeau wouldn't stand a chance. And I don't understand this. What does it take for people in the press to absolutely hate and despise someone? We use this, we talk about, everyone I disagree with is Hitler, yeah. right? We don't want to do that. I think there's a legitimate comparison to be made here between oh, yeah. Kim Jong-un and Hitler. Mm. This is someone who kills political dissidents. This is someone who obviously believes in his superiority. This is an evil, evil human being. And we look back and say, oh, never again, if you look at the Olympics, why? why? Why are we okay with effectively little Hitler or little Hitler's liaisons walking into the Olympics and talking about what, how nice their dresses are and how good they can clap on cue? What does it take for you to say, hey, no, 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 no. Get the hell out. You're not welcome here. Why? Why? Because you're part of the regime from little Hitler. <laughs> You stop just, killing people, you can come to the game. It's a perfectly legitimate comparison. He's just not very effective. No, he's, a, he's effectively just short bus Hitler. He's short bus Hitler. <laughs> 99 bottles of beer on the wall. All the bottles for me. I take all the beer. You get no beer. All the bottles on the wall for a great beer leader. <laughs> hey, guys. What do you think of my song? Good, 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 yeah, it's a great song. Good yeah, good yeah, good best song ever, man. The man is a talent. Yes, yeah, very, very. You <laughs> can't take that away from him. And by the way, well, American leftist news outlets are busy celebrating North Korea at the Olympics, okay? And of course, con well, simultaneously condemning Donald Trump because he said, a, he, he tweeted something <laughs> yeah. mean. Let's not let them forget Otto Warmbier, the 22 year old college student that North Korea arrested for taking uh, down a poster. He went into a coma, you remember North Korean prison, and yeah. he never woke up. But that didn't stop Politico from tweeting this. This is where the Fred Warmbier criticizes North Korean Olympic spirit, talking about the dad. Criti the, the dad whose son was killed by this evil regime, and you say, he's there criticizing their Olympic spirit. Where's your Christmas spirit? <laughs> That's bad, huh? This headline should read, Father hates evil regime who we are simultaneously praising because we're pieces of shit. 
That's what that headline should read. And I just find this so crazy. This is what we talk about. And I want to hear from you what you think. If, if, if you can separate the art from the artist, you know, it's like, oh, Sean Penn's an idiot. But you know what? He was good in I Am Sand. He played one hell of a retard. Can you do that where you separate an <laughs> evil Hitler regime sending out people to clap? Do you separate the art from the artist? But I find it funny with the left, this victim culture. They're constantly looking for victims to prop them up. So much so that Sean King had a career in faking it. They are so busy looking for victims with this victim culture all the time. People who they can pit against each other, but they ignore whether well, you have an actual victim here. To one degree, a father whose son was put into a coma and murdered from an evil regime? I would say that's a victim. Here you go, left. You're always looking for victims. Here's the dad of a kid who was killed by short bus Hitler. Uh, he seems to be criticizing their Olympic spirit. What? Hey, did you enjoy this video? Here's the thing, you're, over, you're here, this is the end of the, so we don't care because you already watched it, but if you really didn't like it and you want to justify it, leave a comment below telling us why you didn't like the video. And if you liked us, let us know and uh, subscribe to the channel because that lets the overlords at YouTube know that, uh, you know what? You're all right.